you go and this is what we are looking oh. for i think this was completely against any diplomatic norms and this was not right yes well, i was going to say it it is also not quite correct on uh, mr uh, nawaz sheikh's part to say such a thing at this point of time yes that's another point that's yes. that's a very good point when the moral morale of the people is low no. when they when things happen in abbottabad and when there is an intelligence failure at this time you are talking something which you should not talk it's uh, fueling the fire yes yes you're right on that point now coming to the next thing and that is the foreign policy of pakistan now the prime minister went to france the president did go to russia and the prime minister is now planning to go to china the question is nazreen ke kya pakistan ki air space ki violation american seals ka pakistan mein aana osama bin laden ko capture karna pakistan ki intelligence failure pe unka yahan intrude karna ye qanoon ke mutabiq tha ya nahi tha was it in conformity to law the violation of air space or was it a violation or there was no violation of air space when well, uh, according, according to security council, council resolution uh, resolution united states has a right united states has a right or had a right to intrude and go for selective selected targets and this is not only you the russian foreign minister said that that the united states had a right to take unilateral action against the culprit and the mastermind of 911 as per security council resolution this was precisely said the other day by the foreign minister of russia now this is what we see now now what do you think what china thinks in this uh, in this whole episode what is the opinion of china mr uh, karun zafar don't know really okay I well, think a, a, a feeling and an impression has come from China as well in support of Security Council's resolution. They have not opposed it. That means that means they are not opposing this thing. Uh, and and if Pakistan goes to the Security Council, they may not be able to get the support of China no. as well. What do you think? Would Pakistan they get the support not. in well, the Security Council if it goes well, to? A, it will. Number one. Number two. we all talk about america's interests being contrary don't forget china has its own interests and its major concern and future camp competitor is in fact india now that puts pakistan in a very good position nazreen this is a very important point i wanted peter belly to say that china has its economic ties with the united states and last week the chinese leaders went to the department of state and they talked on a strategic partnership on economic partnership with secretary of state mrs clinton hillary clinton discussed it in detail on those avenues to develop a strategic economic partnership with the united states in the security council in all the resolutions where united states has taken action china has never vetoed any of the resolutions and what we see academically is that any resolution that comes opposing those actions what was what gave the entitlement to the united states to take unilateral action against osama bin laden was very much in accordance to the mandate and i think my co analysts agree on that that china is not going to take a stand on this thing so we don't have the support from russia pakistan don't have support from china Pakistan don't have support from France and Pakistan don't have support from England those are the permanent members of the security council we'll go for break and when we come back we'll continue our discussion mm -hmm. thank you this program is brought to you in association with waqai kuch rishton ka koi mol nahi bade safar ka bada maza bahut se bada big apple ka maza हर रिचार्ज पर हासिल करें 100 मिनट्स तक रोजाना
तमाम नेटवर्क्स पर साथ ही साथ आपको मिले ज्यादा से ज्यादा बोनस रोजाना और महाना वाकई कुछ रिश्तों का कोई मोल नहीं पीच और मॉल्ट अब दोनों साथ साथ मस्ती और मजा अब दोनों अपने हाथ पीच मॉल्ट चिलेट ट्विस्टेड क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट हर रिचार्ज पर हासिल करें सौ मिनट तक रोजाना तमाम नेटवर्क्स पर साथ ही साथ आपको मिले ज्यादा से ज्यादा बोनस रोजाना और महाना वाकई कुछ रिश्तों का कोई मोल नहीं फूलों और फलों का रस दिए में घोले पीले मजा इसका सब भाया ये है ऐसा कमाल शरबत सनसिप का लाल शरबत हर रिचार्ज पर हासिल करें 100 मिनट तक रोजाना तमाम नेटवर्क्स पर साथ ही साथ आपको मिले ज्यादा से ज्यादा बोनस रोजाना और महाना वाकई कुछ रिश्तों का कोई मोल नहीं फूलों और फलों का रस दिए आया 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 सनसिप का लाल शरबत लाया नई सहूलत बोतल की अब नहीं जरूरत पानी में घोले पीले मजा इसका सब भाया ये है ऐसा कमाल शरबत सनसिप का लाल शरबत हर रिचार्ज पर हासिल करें 100 मिनट तक रोजाना तमाम नेटवर्क्स पर साथ ही साथ आपको मिले ज्यादा से ज्यादा बोनस रोजाना और महाना वाकई कुछ रिश्तों का कोई मोल नहीं दिस प्रोग्राम इज ब्रॉट टू यू इन एसोसिएशन पे वाकई कुछ रिश्तों का कोई मोल नहीं वेलकम बैक हम डिस्कस बहुत से एस्पेक्ट्स कर रहे थे ओसामा बिन लादेन की डेथ के बाद और इस वक्त जो सूरत हाल पैदा हो रही है उसमें दो बड़ी अहम चीजें हैं इन तमाम इस तमाम गुफ्तु का मतलब यकीनन ये नहीं है नाजरीन कि आप किसी तरह भी डिप्रेस्ड हों या सूरत हाल से मायूस हों अपने मोरल्स को आप अप रखें बोथ साइड ऑफ द अटलान्टिक मोरल्स पाकिस्तान के अवाम के और मोरल अमेरिकन पॉलिसी मेकर्स और अमेरिकन नेशन के भी अप होने चाहिए ये चीजें कौमों की जिंदगी के अंदर और तारीख के अंदर हुआ करती हैं और गलतियां भी होती हैं ये कोई इतनी बड़ी गलती नहीं है जिसके लिए हम अपनी रिलेशनशिप को डैमेज होने दें टू द अमेरिकन पॉलिसी मेकर्स आई मस्ट मेक इट वेरी क्लियर दैट पाकिस्तान इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट इन अमेरिकन फॉरन पॉलिसी एंड दो ट्राई टू सेल्फ दैट पाकिस्तान शुड इज नॉट नीडेड शुड नो दैट पाकिस्तान इज नीडेड बाई द यूनाइटेड स्टेट Pakistan was the first country to give support extend support against communist regime from the 1960s till the visit of Henry Kissinger to China it was Pakistan it was Pakistan that played the pivotal role in developing US China relationship it was China that it was Pakistan that played the pivotal role in breaking the communist myth it was pakistan that played the pivotal role in stopping the expansionist designs of the communist regime in afghanistan pakistan was a first line state in all such international affairs where united states became the only superpower pakistan should not be disassociated pakistan has played a major role in making america the only superpower of the world and pakistan should get its due respect yes there may have been mistakes we are all human beings the errors are done there there may be a security lapse there may be intelligence lapse there may be information lacking here in pakistan those things can happen those things did happen in the united states as well in the in the in the in the in the uh, intelligence uh, lapses in the united states in 911 and post 911 so those should not be a barrier and those trying to sell the idea in the capital hill that india is needed by the united states what does that mean that when you need or when we need someone 
we'll use the person, we'll use the nation, we'll use the country, and once the need is over, we'll throw the country in the dustbin. That is not acceptable on moral grounds. Pakistan and United States relationship should stay strong. And as I see what Ron Paul said, that United States has two interests. One interest, if you cooperate, we'll give you the dollars. If you do not, we'll fight against you. That is not right. That is not the myth. That is not the value system of the United States. We have had been supporting on both sides of the Atlantic to each other. And that should stay the way it is. Don't you think that Pakistan's interest and the United States' interest should stay alive? And those people trying to sell, otherwise, that the interest of India is more in the interest of the United States. Is that true? Why not? Well, Pakistan is the sixth biggest country in the world and is likely to remain so. So it is a formidable, apart from being in an area of confrontation at present. So, but Pakistan must stop being defensive and arguing and fighting must stand up and be Pakistan, number one. So they must find a common ground for Pakistan. Secondly, the fundamental differences between America and Pakistan are cultural. America, has, with its Western democracies, has the cult of the individual. It uh, has quietly dismembering the family circle and the army is responsible to the civilian head of state. In Pakistan, which is representative of many other countries, it is the extended family that is the basis. Now this means that you can, you, if your brother does something terrible, you won't put him into the justice system. You may disagree with it, you may argue with him, and that leads the Americans to call Pakistanis untrustworthy and that they don't believe them because they don't have the Western system. Now, in our system, the army in all of Southeast Asia and South Asia, the army plays a bigger role than in America. Misperception that bringing Indian influence in Afghanistan is counterproductive to the U.S. interests because Afghanistan is predominantly a Muslim state and Muslims take it differently when Indian influence comes to Afghanistan. That is not supportive. That's why the United States is losing grounds in Afghanistan. That's why Taliban is having grounds in, the, in Afghanistan. That's why United States forces and the Allied forces are just keeping their influence within the boundaries of Kabul. That's why the, 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 the influence the influence of the United States and NATO forces outside Kabul is not there. And that's what we want to establish here to the American policymakers. And have I been allowed by the Misappropriations Committee of the United States Senate? Or have I been uh, told by the, by the Foreign Relations Committee? I would tell them precisely that this is counterproductive to the United States' interest, keeping the Indian influence in Afghanistan. That is damaging to the U.S. interest. Forget about Pakistan. Pakistan, Pakistan can survive and Pakistan is, being survi is surviving. But it is not U.S. interest. That's why they are not gaining grounds in Afghanistan. And what we want here is to United States to gain grounds, create dem democratic atmosphere in Afghanistan, create a modern Islamic state in Afghanistan. How can you create a modern Islamic state in Afghanistan by keeping Indian influence? Is that understandable? Peter. Well, what I would say is the bottom line is Pakistan has to develop itself. And that is bilateral with America, China, whatever, because it's got to establish itself as Pakistan. It's the sixth biggest country in the world, for heaven's sake. And they've got to establish their own recognizances that they are different to the American. What do you think, uh, Colonel Zafar Saab? How, how, how should America put its influence in Afghanistan? In just simple words. How does? America, How could America win a war in Afghanistan? Oh, it can't. It can't. Without the Pakistan support. 100% support of no, Pakistan. No, with keeping India on board in Afghanistan. That's a dream. That's a dream because in their larger picture that they have, the strategic picture of this area they have is that they want to bring up as a regional India as a regional power so that the security of this uh, can be 
outsource in, in one manner. word let me tell you dear viewers that you want to influence the arab regimes by using the iranian agencies 